Tyson Mayabnik getting to the outside, down the outside section though, and Arrogance let go now with a big run, moved up to hit the lead from Romolata, the little tacker, Navatrice down the inside, it's Princessa, it's Arrogance and Princessa, Arrogance in front on the outside section, Princessa the inside, looks like Arrogance, Arrogance from Princessa, that's the way it looks, and Shea Spy should get third. Down the outside section, then Romolata with the little tacker, Mavortrice, and Racers Bell. Back to the inside section then, we had Super Elegant with Delaney, then Take by Storm, Niavnik, Eagle Rhythm, Star Hit, Palace Chief, and that is about it. Number Olympia. 6, Arrogance, J Patton, 610, 220, 11, Princessa, 640, 280S price, 9, Shea Spice, 720. We'll check the result as we head back to Ian. Righto, Rod, we're well, just recapping on that uh, market for the Sydney Cup, the favourite in a very open race, number 4, Giovanna, at $5 and $2.50, and Giovanna is favourite here on track. Um, there hasn't been a great deal of movement, really. Just a sprinkle of money for the New Zealand Mayor Starina, number 13. So, Giovanna, another New Zealander. Number four, popular pick for the Cup, due in five and a half. Now loading at the coast with Siegfried, the favourite, 180 the win, 120 for the place. No. Car for the field, he's back second last, and monochrome was the trailer, 700 out, and flying turf starting point. Near the 900. And the starter comes down towards his stand. Field of 15. They're ready. And they're racing. And they got them to a good start. Bias Bay was one of the best to break the line. Commencing well is Ronnie. Not far away is Pristine Partners. Coco Cabana handy on the rails. And then comes Wellington. And as they settle fully into stride, now here's Ronnie. There's about two lengths clear on Coco Cabana with Pristine Partners third, Wellington fourth. Wider Pastor Express followed by Uncle, a length of Starina. After a length, touched the groom on the inside of Giovanna. Bias Bay's drifted back from Genioso Bondi Iceberg. Then Mr. Pruden Prophet's Kiss and about three lengths to our unicorn. They come around the home corner and up the rise on the first occasion and here's Ronnie is the leader a couple of lengths on Coco Cabana Pristine Partners is next Wellington over on the inside followed by Giovanna momentarily still caught wide from Pastor Express a couple of lengths to Uncle on the inside of Starina and wider Bondi Iceberg and then a gap of a length and a half to Bias Bay touch the groom on the rails one further back Mr. Pruden from Genioso two and a half to Prophet's Kiss and tacking on as our unicorn a lap to go in the swept Sydney Cup for the year 2001 and here's Ronnie pilots the field about three Coco Cabana as they work on the turn out of the straighter length and a half to Pristine Partners. Wellington fourth. Giovanna's getting into one off the rails next. Two to Pastor Express between Uncle inside and outside is Bondi Iceberg. A length and a half to Starina. Touch the groom on the fence. And then a gap of three quarters Bias Bay as they jam up in the back division. Mr. Prudent improving. Genioso on the fence. Two Prophets kiss a length and a half to our unicorn. By the 1750 and there's little change in the order and it's ears Ronnie. By by two lengths on Coco Cabana, three quarters to a length further back, Pristine Partners, as they work to the back of the course. Wellington is fourth on the inside of the favourite Giovanna, and then Bondi Iceberg, Pastor Express Uncle, Mr. Pruden racing up to midfield, followed by Starina, a couple of lengths further away on the inside touch, the groom is outside Bias Bay from Genioso, Prophet's Kiss, and our unicorn's last 20 lengths from the lead, which is now taken by Coco Cabana. And in a lightning raid, the rider on Coco Cabana, Jimmy Cassidy, let her slide. And past the 1,200, she goes eight lengths. Here's Ronnie. Two to Wellington and Pristine Partners. Three, Giovanna, a length to Bondi Iceberg. Followed by Uncle Pastor Express, a length and a half to Mr. Prudent. And then comes Starina on the fence. After a length to touch the groom, Bias Bay, Genioso, our unicorn. And Prophet's Kiss brings up the rear. Well, Coco Cabana is giving a sight as they come down the side. 800 to run of the Sydney Cup and Coco Cabana. Seven lengths here is Ronnie Wellington third. Pristine Partners fourth. Four lengths to the popular pick, Giovanna. Three lengths further away is Uncle, followed by Mr. Pruden making ground. Bondi Iceberg or touched the groom, but got badly checked. They race towards the corner and Coco Cabana, it's been a daring ride by J.A. Cassidy and the Gay Waterhouse trained mare railing nicely. Swings into the straight to the favourite Giovanna picking up the other mare very quickly however. 
Giovanna doing better than Coco Cabana, who's thrown in the towel. And here's Mr. Pruden from Pastor Express and Starina. Mr. Pruden goes after Giovanna. Pastor Express the inside, and then comes Starina and Prophet's Kiss. But Mr. Pruden, trained by the master, George Handlin in front. Prophet's Kiss on the outside won't reach Mr. Pruden. And Mr. Pruden wins the Sydney Cup. Mr. Pruden has beaten Prophet's Kiss and Starina from Pastor Express. Giovanna didn't run the 3200. Then our unicorn uncle touched the groom Wellington. Pristine partners, Bondi Iceberg, Bios Bay. Here's Ronnie, Genioso and Coco Cabana stopped very, very quickly and finished absolute. Well, what a wonderful trainer. Mr. Pruden, trained by the master, Mr. George Hanlon from Geelong. A former Sydney side of Mr. Prudent. He's been with George for, I don't know, probably nine months. And written perfectly by Corey Brown, has taken the year 2001 Sydney Cup. He's always promised a lot, Mr. Prudent. And uh, he's certainly come of age this afternoon in winning for George Hanlon, a man who's no stranger to winning rich two-mile cups. Okay. Red light blinking. Alton Cup, 1,200 metres, group two level, ready to jump. Ab Initio stands up well, Pia Vonix in line. Laurie's Lottery racing in club colours, the Carlton colours. Set. Uh, started talking to the attendants. Margins Perth, long head, length and a quarter time, 124.91. The button. Okay, I think we're just about set to go. No light from the starter. Now we've got it. Ready to jump. Racing Ab Initio began brilliantly. It was a terrific start. King Lotto showing speed. Golden Eye is going forward in the early part. And Laurie's Lottery is showing good speed. Quality Kingdom, Pimparta Prince and Fritz began nicely. He's going to settle sixth on the inside. Then Spike King caught a little white outside of fine action. Shower Heart is drifting back. He's in the second half of the field inside of Pierre Vonick. And then Ken Concani, Dynamic Love. And Federal Agent is last of all. Golden Eye in front of Ab Initio. Golden Eye's one off the rails. They're at the 650. Golden Eye three quarters of an length in front of Ab Initio. King Lotto one away third. Laurie's Lottery tracking through fourth inside of Quantity Kingdom one to Fritz. Followed by fine action, Pimpanda Prince, one to show a heart. He's six lengths off the lead, coming to the outside, starting a run. Ken Concani is going to ride him for lucky, sticking to the inside, and then Pia Vonick heading for the judge. 3.50 metres to go. Golden Eye slipped away from Ab Initio to lead by a length and a half. King Lotto's up to third. Laurie's Lottery to fourth. Fritz getting to the outside, running on fairly well. Then Quality Kingdom, show a heart, and Ken Concani, Golden Eye in front. On the outside, King Lotto trying hard. Fritz is coming home strongly now. Fritz is coming with a big run. Golden Eye tackled by King Lotto, Fritz and Shower Hart is roaring down the outside. Fritz is just in front and Fritz has won. Fritz first, Shower Hart flew to get second. King Lotto third, Golden Eye or Ken Concarney in a photo for fourth. Then Pia Vonick and Federal Agent Ab Initio. Further back was Laurie's Lottery, then Dynamic Lab, Quality Kingdom, Fine Action, Pimpana Prince and Spy King, the last one over the line. Seven, Fritz and Harris, 460, 190. Second, 14, Shower Hart at $2. And third, eight, King Lotto, 430. Greg Wade, Perth, 263. Goes to 14. Shoa Hart, Snarty Katsidis. Eight is third. King, Cop uh, King Lotto, and Scott Pimba. Galloway. It's 7, 14 and 8 confirmed after the running of the Carlton Cup. Nine. And moving in, Kembler with a favourite love him at 5, 10, 180. Catcher, 5, 52, 30. Four, Red City, 5, 62, 20. Two exceptional automobiles, two outstanding offers from Chrysler. There's the classic 2020 offer, where you pay $20,000 now and $20,000 in a year on the Cherokee Classic. Straight up, no interest, no further repayments. All there's the Voyager SE with free luxury pack, including six stack of CD from an unbeatable $52,900. For details, see today's paper or call into your local dealer for a test drive. Wouldn't you look good in a Chrysler? 17. A star settles again. Signal. Ready for the last racing. Out in a pretty good even line too. Atomic Love left the gate quickly. Katango flew out with Tycoon Millie out wide from Flamber. And driving through now Atomic Love. Tycoon Millie's right off the track. Uh, just in front of Atomic Love from Katango. Divine Hope up fourth from Edelin's Joy. Then Gala Sniff, Flamber and further back in the race, Pareto. 
Three further back than Yellow Star, Alexi, about four, Lady Camelot, and two or three last of all, Lewilla. Tycoon Millie right out in the centre of the track, three quarters in front of Divine Hope before the turn from Atomic Love. Adelan's Joy back on the inside, then Katango Peretta. Gala Snip further back and Flamber taken out wide around the turn. Divine Hope up on the inside of Tycoon Millie when they turn at the 350. Divine Hope led a half length, Tycoon Millie, then Katango. Pareto out in the middle and further back, then Flamber. The leader, Divine Hope, Tycoon Millie running all over the place. Divine Hope has drifted right back to the inside. Katango and Pareto are starting to pick it up. Divine Hope in front, down on the inside from Pareto, who's diving. They hit it. Oh, Pareto's dived at uh, Divine Hope. The stable mates hit it, locked together. Tycoon Millie, Alexi close up from Katango for the Miners with Gala Snip. Then Lady Camelot and further back Flamber from Adeline's Joy. Further back in the race at Atomic Love from Luwilla and Yellow Star near the tail. Three Pareto, five twenty one eighty. Two Divine Hope, three fifty one sixty. For third, thirteen Tycoon Millie, one sixty. Eight Alexi, fourteen ninety. We have Correct Way Durban on race seven, seven fourteen eight and nine. Pareto in the middle has beaten Divine Hope the stable mate. And five gets third Katango. Three goes in the frame, number three. Number three, Pareto. From two, Divine Hope. And third, five, Katango. Three, two, five. Three, two, and five in the last. Three, two, and five. At the barrier at Toowoomba, three, Pareto. Caulfield, 521.82. Divine Hope, 165. Katango, 390. Quinella, 680. Exacta, $17. 325 trifecta, 181.30. Have you tried Park Royal Parramatta? Lights on. They're racing in the rain lover plate and from the inside Fibber hopped out fairly. Senesino was one of the first out with a hind showing speed with another printer. Bonza Blue, Evans, deeper out at all times and Comfort starting to roll up towards the lead now. Looks like Comfort is going to go to the front in the early stages with Evans which is over racing a little. Senesino another printer. Then at all times the hind settled down about sixth here on the inside. Friends will run three deep from Bonza Blue. Then Tansman, Skybow next from Front Beach. Then Red Astaire, the Rampager. Getting back to second last Fibber. And on his outside, a neck away last of all was Paisano. As they swing out of the home straight now, and they head out towards the crossing at the 1800 metre mark, and Comforts has gone to the lead here. Comforts takes it up from Senesino second. Another printer was third, and racing fourth was Evans. The high, nice and close in fifth spot. Then at all times, Frenzel Rom having no luck. He's trapped three deep from Bonza Blue. Uh, then Tans Man around Sky Bay, the rampage of Red Astaire, as they race out into the back now and go out of our view. And we'll pick them up from the front once again here. Where it's Comforts, the pacemaker. Comforts takes them down the back, leading from Senesino. Now, Frenzel Rom had been trapped deep, and Doral allowed him to slide forward. Now, the top weight, or second top weight, I should say. And Senesino's kicking up inside Frenzel Rom, though, making him work overtime. So it's Comforts leading Senesino. Frenzel Rom still three deep around another printer in Evans. The Hines had a magnificent run in sixth spot. Then Tansman. Skybow next on the inside from at all times. Then the Rampager. Bonza Blue was next. Then back on the inside was Red Astaire as they come back into our view once again now behind Red Astaire was Paisano and five or six to Fibber last of all another printer one of the bolters went to the lead now Senesino was second about three away Comforts was third and uh, next was Tans man Frenzel Rom's had no luck he's under some pressure now then Evans on the inside taking off now around the outside was the Rampager the hind needs some galloping room now he's held up in traffic midfield on the inside from Front Beach then Skybow uh, further back Paisano uh, back with it at all times then further back to Bonza Blue Red Astaire and Fibber turning for home another printer led Tans man coming after Red Friends of Rom getting a go on again from Comforts and the Hines about to switch into the clear now from the Rampager and Sky Bow getting to the outside but Friends of Rom hit the lead at the 250 the Hind giving chase then Comforts the Rampager Tans man and Bonza Blue Friends of Rom tackled by the Hind the Hind moved up to take the lead from Friends of Rom then the Rampager and Comforts from Bonza Blue but the Hind the hind beats Frenzel Rom, third the Rampager, then Comforts, Bonza Blue, Sky Bow, Tans Man, another printer, at all times was next to finish. Further back in the field then was Evans, as they go from out of our view, Red Astaire was behind those runners. Uh, further back in the field then we had uh, Sky Bow, uh, back behind those runners, Front Beach, Paisano, Senesino, and Fibber was one of the last to pull up. Moving up the Gold Coast, Victoria Park won the hind, 281.60, two Frenzel Rom, 190. And third at nine, the Rampage of 1690. Set at the coast. Ashell, 34170. Set now. 
A shell, heavily back favourite, ready for action. Jeff Fenning on the stand. Line, still unruly, continuum edgy with King of Acapulco. They're off. Jumped in a good line to Shy Hero and Fal Valon from outside alleys beat them out. 8 8 jump well and so did Lord Essex Century Kid look, looking for the lead. A length and a half to Mr. Innocent Continuum, King of Acapulco, Testa Rossa. And then Black Bean, a length and a half, Knickerbocker Kid followed by Higher Spinning Hill, Bell de Jour, Padstow, and Steel City's last. Along past the 750 Century Kid, the leader from 8 8 and Shy Hero. Two and a half lengths further back is Lord Essex followed by Fal Valon. Mr. Innocent on the inside, two and a half to Testa Rossa, King of Acapulco, Continuum, Knickerbocker Kid, a length into Spinning Hill, the higher Black Bean, followed by Belle de Jour. Second last is Padstow and three or four lengths to Steel City, around the corner and the TJ Smith and Century Kid, a length and a half, eight eights, two lengths to Shy Hero, followed by Fal Valon, Lord Essex, over on the inside, Mr. Innocent, then Testa Rossa and Spinning Hill from higher at the 200, and Century Kid leads more than a length, eight eights, Fal Valon still battling on, Mr. Innocent followed by Spinning Hill. Century Kid, the leader, Fal Valon is wide out, cutting down Century Kid. Century Kid's still in front, and Century Kid wins it. Spinning Hill flew. Might have got second from Fal Valon. Higher 8-8s, eight Knickerbocker Kid, Mr. Innocent, Testa Rossa, Black Bean, Steel City, and Padstow. Lord Essex followed home by Bill de Jour, King of Acapulco Continuum, and Shy Hero last to complete the course. What a dashing display of speed by Century Kid. Number 13, written by Lenny Beasley for Graham Rogerson. Graham part owns the horse with Mr. Sam Fisman. By Centaine from Zephy, three-year-old Bay Gilding. And has Superb. paid on the New South Wales tote about $21.30 and $5.90. Photo for minors, here we go. 14 is second, Spinning Hill. And third goes to number three, Fal Valon. 13, 14, and three. And uh, we'll have other new... Oh, that light's not flashing in Perth yet. The uh, Quinella here, or the winning place, number 13, 21, 30, 590. Number 14, 240. Number 3, 340. Fifth, off Perth It's jibbed at the start. Class Hill are on a lap. Went straight back near the tail. And Miss Vandal, along with the favourite, Born Priceless, were clearly best away. Money is magic. Jumped well and so did Kesko. Lakeside Song going up in a hurry soon after the start. Gambay is there, followed by Storm Fee. On the fence, Robe River Man, Wonder Keldan, and then Danny's Chris. Still fired up and getting into some bother. Brocky's dream, white foil. Had the wind taken out of her sails. Lost a bit of ground from Yuma Tune deep out. Black boots on the fence. Class Siller and back last is on a lap. But Harvey's being able to dictate his own terms on Miss Vandal. And she's coasting with her ears pricked in the size at the 750. Leads a bit more than a length. Running second born priceless from Kesko. Tramping a little wide. Money is magic. The grey on the fence beautifully placed. And then Lakeside Song. Gambay losing a bit of ground from Keldarn. Robe River Man going up in the middle. A length and a half, Brocky's Dream inside Storm Fee and on the inside of that duo, Black Boots, one and a half, Danny's Crystal. Yuma Tune, White Foil and then on a lap and Class Hill is last as the field turns in the sires. And Miss Vandals had a cruisy run in front, Born Priceless though about to lay down the gauntlet. On the fence behind them, Money is Magic and then Lakeside Song, Miss Vandal though gets away from Born Priceless. 150 to go, Miss Vandal broke clear, Born Priceless can't stay with her and she's going to lead all the way, Miss Vandal. She's pulling away the don't say halo filly and she scores a comfortable win second born priceless photo third lakeside song or money is magic then brocky's dream on the fence to keldarn and then came robe river man storm fee and on a lap running on a break then to gambay danny's crystal black boots white foil struck trouble in the early part of the race yuma tune class hiller and casco has weakened to the tail of the field 13 miss vandal 670 two dollars 40 paul harvey Second to nine, born priceless, one dollar sixty. Photo third, one lakeside song, three sixty. Three money is magic, five dollars seventy. At the Barrier Brisbane, Rebel with a cause is a favourite, two thirty, one twenty. Ahead of number five, front row, five eighty, one seventy in Kazakh Bell, and seven seventy and two seventy. Okay, on the last here at Randwick, the superfector, thirteen, fourteen, three, sixteen, six and two has not been won. 13, 14, 3, 16, 6, 2, not 1. Half a neck, a head, 109, 82, 34, 75. And uh, number 13, the winner century kid, trained by Graham Rogers and Lenny Beasley, as we confirm the totes. First four, 13, 14, 3 and 16. 
And Les will let us know if there is a carryover or not. $29,230.80. No carryover. Be beautiful. So that's a great dividend again. $29,230.80.